Hey guys, it's Janelle Kendall, Community Engagement Coordinator here at Four Eyes with another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, zero offsetting your power meter, why you should do it, how you should do it. Zero offsetting your power meter prior to every ride is crucial to make sure that you get the correct accuracy. Um, and why we need to do it is because uh, due to temperature changes, um, your crank arm needs to be zero offsetted, similar to zeroing a scale before you want to weigh something really accurately. So to zero offset your power meter, make sure that it's awake. And I'd recommend putting your bike into the riding environment. So if you're going to be taking it outside, take your bike outside about 10 minutes before you plan to zero offset it, just to make sure that the crank arm comes up to temperature or down to temperature. Um, I'll show you guys how to do it uh, using your head unit first. So I have my Garmin here and I am going to go to the add sensor screen. The power meter shows up on there. I hit add sensor and then I can go to the screen that says calibrate. I'm going to make sure that my crank arms are at 6 and 12 o'clock. And it doesn't matter which one is up or down, just make sure that they are in that position. And then simply hit calibrate. We'll give you a spinning wheel for a second and then it should pop up that it's all good. Calibration successful, so it'll give you a code that says 1010. Uh, if that's displayed, you're all good to go. You can also use the Four Eyes app on your cell phone to do the same thing. Make sure that the power meter is awake and then add the device using the Bluetooth scan. Once it shows up, there should be a little button uh, just underneath the sensor name that says zero offset, so click that and then it will direct you to position the crank arms like so. Once you've done that, then just hit go by clicking on the little picture of the crank. And then again, it should pop up saying you're good to ride.